Welcome to Onan. Here we are at 16041 Woodvale Road in Encino. My name is Sally Forster Jones and I am the broker representing this property. We have nine bedrooms, 13 bathrooms. It's about 19,500 square feet on 1.3 acres of land. There's the main house, there's a guest house, there's a basketball, sports court, and a beautiful lounging pool. All of this for $26 million. We are lucky enough today to be joined by Jay Omar, who is the designer of this incredible property, and he is going to be touring with us. So here we are in the entryway, which is really the butterfly pavilion of this beautiful, property Onan that was created by our designer here, Jay Omar. Hi, my name is Jay Omar and I'm the head of design here at Onan. The term Onan, the name Onan, comes from a, a chaotic period in ancient Japan's history. We were in the middle of our construction process in COVID and this was, as, as everybody remembers, a very chaotic time. And so from chaos, much like the Japanese history, from chaos came great art and beauty, which we're standing in today. As Sally mentioned, the Butterfly Pavilion is a very special area. It's the first impression as you come into the house. The double height volume, which actually feels like a butterfly pavilion. The glass walkway and the glass walls on either side give a, um, an air of transparency. And they also give you connection with the outside, with the, with the oak trees that are throughout the property. If you'll notice the subtle butterfly impression held within the book matches of our Pietro Grigio stone. This also underpins the term butterfly pavilion. Just across from the entryway, we're right now in our sitting room with the adjoining study library. We've also come to affectionately call this area the informal living room, because there's a sense of relaxation. You have full height windows that are gridded horizontally, and you have a double-sided fireplace yeah. coming from, from your entry, which is sort of an interesting or exciting point of view. When you're sitting down, you can actually see through. The space is, is doubled um, or expanded with the connected study, which is behind us. And like a lot of the areas in the house, it was important to create intimacy and yet still be able to appreciate the volume or the scale of the space. And so these two areas are associated, but you can gain privacy by the articulating panels that occur on both sides of the double-sided bookcase. Here we are in the study, which is the adjoining area to the informal living room. You'll notice that the mood is very different here. It's serene. The light penetration is different. You're able to have some intimacy or privacy from the sitting area via the uh, sliding screens. You notice the sliding screens, which are mirrored, have a bronze mirror on both sides, are anchored by this incredible block of stone. The block of stone has functioning drawers and doors within it that are also clad with stone. The open beam detail at the ceiling is something that you'll find in traditional Japanese homemaking or traditional Japanese farmhouses. It's a, a, a structural element, but it also conveys a, a, a warmth and intimacy with a nod to ancient Japan. We're in the dining room, which you want it to be a little bit intimate, but you still want to feel the ambiance. We like to refer to the dining room as a symphony of elemental balance, in that you have the reflection of the pool outside on the ceiling, which gives you a serenity and the coolness of water. You have grounding earth elements in the stone in the fireplace, in the shusugiban and in the area above. It's open, and yet you also have, we've maintained a sense of intimacy. The wine platform, which serves as a soft division between the dining room and the family room, enables you to have a visual reference point, but it doesn't block off the space, so there's still interconnectivity between the two rooms. 
it's simple to design a big house with large open volumes, an open floor plan. It's not so simple to do that and still maintain a sense of intimacy and warmth. With the broad spread use of natural materials um, and soft divisions, like we'd mentioned previously in the wine platform, you're able to connect the spaces but still have a sense of openness. The fireplace, which is connected to an outdoor area, is wrapped completely in the uh, Shu Sugiban, and it frames uh, the very, very unique and rare invisible gray marble that's been deeply, deeply textured. One of the recurring themes is the marriage or synergy between the textural materials. Just off of the great room is our kitchen. These areas are connected, yet they have independence with soft division. All of these surfaces, I just want to go and touch them because they're so unique and so special. You can put out food or your food preparation, and then you also have the beautiful appliances and the beautiful materials of the cabinetry. We landed on the ratio kitchen from Moltini by architect Vincent Van Dyzen, largely because the upper cabinets are available in this beautiful slatting, the Elmwood slatting. And this is sort of a, uh, a theme that you'll see consistent throughout the house. So it was wonderful to find a kitchen that actually had that detail. People love the open kitchen for lifestyle, but if you're entertaining and you are having a party and you don't want it to be messy, what you really want is the back kitchen, where all of the food preparation takes place, all the messiness takes place, and then you come out and serve. It's a, a tighter space, and so transitioning from the charcoal gray of the front cabinets to the lighter gray provides a little bit of openness and lightness. And we needed a focal point, and so we landed on this incredible 48-inch Bertazzoni range. This is powder room number one, and it might just be my favorite room in the house. The rock, the 4,500 pound boulder, which the sink is carved out of, we literally built the house around it. It came in before framing and was set into the foundation. We had inscribed a provocative passage from the Book of the Samurai. Our bodies are given life from the midst of nothingness. Existing where there is nothing is the meaning of the phrase, form is emptiness. That all things are provided for by nothingness is the meaning of the phrase, emptiness is form. One should not think that these are two separate things. My whole life has been thinking about that phrase, like since I was 20 years old. The home theater at Onan is an expression in natural materials. And so normally a theater has a more formal vibe. Here we wanted it to feel relaxed, and so we used, for instance, linen on the walls. The wood tone is anchored by the sienna veining running through the leathered belvedere dividing wall between the upper and lower areas in the theater. No home theater's experience is complete without a bar. Coming from the entry, you've passed through a sea of neutral tones. As you round the corner and the theater bar comes into view, it is a piece of jewelry clad in the calcutta viola, a raw piece of white oak. The bar back, bronze frame doors, fully suspended, and the copper accents, which reference the sienna veining in the calcutta viola. Right off the theater bar, we're now in the game room, and this is a place to just hang, relax. It's also the entrance to our wellness center. So we have a beautiful gym, lovely sauna, you have the cold plunge pool, and then you also have a massage area. All of this opens seamlessly to your pool, and so you have Southern California Living Wellness Center. We've come up the beautiful staircase, and we're greeted by this upstairs den. It's really important to have a community space that accesses all of the secondary bedrooms on the floor. What's also notable is that there are continuing elements from the first floor all the way up in the white oak screening and the fireplace, which started downstairs, continues up 27 feet and wraps around to appear here. Here we are, it may feel a little frightening, but we are on this glass bridge, which is just a, the separation between the primary suite and the den area with their secondary bedrooms. 
The glass bridge is a controversial element. When you look down and don't see anything beneath you, it can produce feelings of anxiety. It's also a very visually stimulating element. Walking over it is something that's fun to do every time I visit the home. It was critical that this be a weightless and transparent element. Critical in the design of the butterfly pavilion that you didn't have a heaviness or a weight above your head, blocking your view of the oak trees which surround the property. As you enter the primary suite, you're going through a six foot wide plus pivot door with authentic bronze hardware, which underpins our reoccurring Japanese theme. Also underpinning that theme is an authentic bonsai that sits right in your eye line as you enter the suite. The doors open up so that this private or protected courtyard becomes an outdoor space, also becomes an indoor space. Going back to that central theme of eliminating the barrier between inside and outside. And you have that throughout each part of the primary suite. The cathedral ceilings provide a, a, a sense of openness and uh, grandiosity, but also the cladding, the vertical cladding in the oak that goes seamlessly continues from the ridge line down to the wall and over the entrances to the closets. That also contributes to the overall feeling of warmth and intimacy that you have within this incredibly large space. Concealing such amenities as the primary closets or the bathroom, this is an exercise in purpose and passion. It frees visual clutter from your view and also provides an, an, an element of intrigue as you transition from one area to the next. We come through the hidden doors from the primary bedroom suite and here it is. This is one of the two large exclusive closet areas. So you couldn't very well have serenity in the house and chaos in the closet. And that's really the overarching theme held within the closet is covering things that you don't want to see. So everything is carefully placed behind doors. The whole room is anchored by this island completely clad, including the drawers in marble. So this is one of the two bathrooms. We have the beautiful book matched and etched stone wall. We have our vanity area that is unlike anything else I've seen anywhere. You have the live edge oak doors and you have a stunning shower and bathtub. And then it all opens up to this zen outdoor area. The contrast between the dark basalt herringbone floor, active but monochromatic, setting the stage for the very active Calcutta vertical walls. The contrast between these two, the dark value within the stone is pulled out for the floor, the medium value within the stone is pulled out in the board form concrete in the outdoor sanctuary. Again, going back to um, that we're crafting a complete environment and that you have everything that you need. Whether it's the sink in the opposing vanity area, you've got mirrors that are hung from the ceiling, the vanity is pulled off of the wall to promote a circular traffic pattern, the doors open up so that once again we have this seamless integration of inside and outside. The fire pit, water elements on either side, once again going back to that elemental balance which is so critical within a home. Outside in the yard at Onan, we have a multi-use sports court, we have a 65-foot infinity pool, and the yard is broken into two terraced areas, the lower yard where the pool is held, and the upper yard where the sports court, guest house, and walkable garden is. The backdrop is 65 feet of bookmatched marble. It can be appreciated from almost every viewpoint that you stand within the first floor of the home. The outdoor entertainment area at the far end of the property is broken into two segments. There's a standard barbecue area with a full barbecue and refrigerator and a sink, but there's also what I like to call an entertaining island, which is adjacent and comes at the exact end of the 65-foot raised infinity pool.
Thank you for touring Onan with us today at 16041 Woodvale Road in Encino. We have a beautiful property here with nine bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, approximately 19,500 square feet of 1.3 acres of land, being offered at $26 million. Thank you for coming and hope to see you again soon. Love to give you a tour in person.